David, thank you very much for the invitation to Petford Group here in Dudley. Now, um, it's quite easy to, for me to see what you're actually doing here, but could you explain exactly what you do offer here? So, as a company, we started in 1971. Uh, we started as dye and mould manufacturing. We've then diversified throughout the range. So, press tools, die casts, uh, rim tools, absolutely any tooling that we've done. Uh, and then within about the last five to six years, we then diversified into some contract machining and machining services. That's quite interesting, actually, because uh, the Coriander behind us, I mean, it's a very sophisticated, large machine. But could you tell me about the travelling column that you've got on this machine and why you chose this version? So we chose Coria for numerous reasons. One, we're a very big fan of Coria. So we've been buying Corias for uh, at least 20 years. Uh, so it's a known and tested product for ourselves. The service that we've always got has always been phenomenal. And also, we went for the Axia for the induced capacity. Well, obviously, with the size of some of the billets that I'm seeing uh, behind you here, um, Korea are very, very sophisticated with their head technology. What head did you choose for this machine? So we chose the UAD head so we could actually get any angle that we required. So instead of having a 4 5 axis machine, it gave us more versatility and more strength within the head. And obviously you've had to uh, make a bit of space here for this large machine, but you know, why did you choose this size of Axia machine? So because the company goes up to 50 tonnes in weight for general billets and tools, it gives us actually more added capacity. So we've got seven and a half metres in X, which gives us basically everything that we need. And what type of uh, work are you running on this specific machine? So we do from dye moulds, down to just general subcontract engineering. So castings all the way up to heavy engineering. So when you're looking at some of your work uh, that you've been diversifying into, like the aerospace sector, is there a lot of technology transfer that you can actually put over from automotive into aerospace, for instance? So with the Formula One and the aerospace stuff that we've been doing recently, with having the UAD head, it actually gives us more versatility for the angles and the extra requirements that we require. And I, I suppose uh, looking at uh, the portfolio of customers that you work with, uh, very blue chip companies, I, I presume you've got to invest in the best equipment available to give them the reliability that you can actually deliver. Yeah, so Peppers have always been a one-stop shop, so if we promise something, we'll deliver one way or another. And by buying the best, it actually does make life a lot easier. And I suppose investing in uh, sophisticated machine tools like the Courier and the Axiom machine behind us, you know, what support and service do you get from DTS? I'll be honest, the support we get is very good. Um, the communication levels we get back from a daily issue with species, absolutely wonderful. And there's not many customers who've got large machines like this in the UK. Does this actually give you the opportunity to go and win new work as well? It's broadened our horizons for other aspects for uh, aerospace and the Formula One and other items. For any engineers that are watching this video that uh, have got large machining needs, what's your message to them and why should they use you? I say, come and contact us and we're here to help. I say, any subcontract or any overflow work, come and give us a shout. We're here to help. We work 24-7.